Hey, are you feeling stuck and you just don't know how to get out of the rut? This week on Liz TV, I'm going to show you one of the simplest techniques to really unlock your stuckness and get out of that place and really live with liberation and freedom. So join me. It's Liz Logan and I'm so glad you're here on another episode of Liz TV this week. I wanted to dive into something that's been kind of itching. I think it's the time of year and I've talked about this a little bit um, in previous sessions, but what I really wanted to tap into this week is what I've been feeling in my heart, which is this stagnation, this constant uh, feeling that, that I'm stuck and that I'm not quite getting that energetic flow that I'm used to in my life. When you know when you're in energetic flow, cause it's like green light after green light and life just feels easy. And lately life has just felt a little bit more um, stagnant for me, a little bit harder to push to where I need to go with deadlines and projects and uh, my dreams and you know, ambitions that I have for the, the rest of the year. And so it was actually very, very interesting how this came about. But this week, uh, we decided that we were going to sell our house, put it on the market. And the thing that came from this was this really a beautiful, great gift. And that's what I want to teach you. We've talked a lot about clearing out the clutter and a lot of it's mental clutter that we end up holding on to and it prohibits us from really stepping into our full potential and it prohibits us from reaching our dreams or our goals or aspirations or the next project we want to embark on or the next vacation we want to take or the next uh, book we want to write whatever it is that holds us back sometimes it's just the clutter that's in our mind but what i found is that there's such a mental component to physical clutter in your home and how that shows up in your mental clutter space. So in the midst of us discussing that, yes, in fact, we were going to list our house to be sold. I know from being in real estate for many years and in a previous life that you need to clear out clutter in the physical home in order to get your house ready to show, right? Every realtor will tell you, anybody in the industry will tell you that. And so, what you end up doing is taking all of the clutter out of your emotional life as well because you're clearing your physical space. The home represents a lot of your emotional house. And so if you are really, really stuck, what I invite you to do, which is what I got the great privilege, and it was a lot of work, trust me when I say, but I got the great privilege to actually go inch by inch, closet by closet, room by room, and clear out my physical house to get ready and prepare for uh, this offering to someone else to take over this beautiful home in which I live. And so in doing so, what happened was all of a sudden I realized how much stuff had accumulated, how much bogged down energy I had kept in corners and in piles and in closets and just extra stuff that I never really got the chance or took the time to put away where it was meant to go or get rid of it if it wasn't didn't have a place. And so I uh, invite you to actually consider staging your physical home as if you were going to sell it. And I want you to go room by room and just start to take out and you all you have to do is put it in a pile, right? And there's two piles that you can create. One is going to be a pile that you still like whatever you're putting in this pile you just don't quite know where it's going to fit and the second pile is why am i hanging on to this and i really don't need it if you have a third pile that's kind of the in between i'm not quite sure if i'm ready to get rid of this but i want to contemplate it a little bit more create a third pile for yourself so you have up to three piles one is the yes keep pile one is the no, I don't have a place for this in my life anymore. And then one is the, eh, I'm not quite sure what to do with this in my life yet pile. And you're gonna go room by room and you're gonna make it a showcase. So if there's furniture that you don't like, if there's uh, clutter that you don't like, if there's knickknacks and, and objects that 
pictures that you're just like, gosh, I don't like any of this. I want you to take the lens of every single room that you walk into in your home feels like a beautiful sanctuary, okay? And if it doesn't feel that way, it's time to reevaluate. One of my favorite things that I've done since I was a kid with my mom is we used to rearrange furniture in our home a lot. And it drove my dad crazy because he would come home from work sometimes and the whole house would look completely different. But the process of doing that, what I recognized is that we were actually letting the energy clear in a room by rearranging how it looked and how we were placing things. And it gives this fresh perspective. So as we're going from summer into fall, it's a beautiful time to start to look at your rooms and go, wow, do I like how the couch is? Do I like where the chairs are placed? You know, if it's your bedroom, do I like where the bed wall is? Do I wanna rearrange it? Maybe for winter, maybe there's uh, more light coming through a different way that for winter feels really good to you. So you're, you're taking inventory of the furniture, how it's laid out, how it shows up, you know, is it bringing, when you walk into the room, does it feel like good circulatory energy? Does it feel stuck? Is the, is the furniture too heavy? Um, maybe you can eliminate something. I just did this in a bedroom where I eliminated one bookcase and all of a sudden I ended up changing the whole entire room because once I got that one heavy bookcase out of the room, it cleared all this energetic energy to be able to then go create lightness and feel more um, airy. And now it's actually become my favorite room in the house because I created a beautiful guest room. So if you need a place to come stay, come stay in my new beautiful guest room because it's, it's I walk into the room now and I take this huge sigh of relief where before I would almost shut the door and walk right past this room because it felt energetically stuck. It felt heavy to me. And it felt like um, anything that we didn't really care about, we were putting into this room. So it, it became an energetic storage site for all of our um, heavy energy, I think. And when I cleared that, all of a sudden I was looking at this room from a completely different lens and I bought a couple new pieces to go in this room and now it's literally my favorite room in the house. So you don't have to go crazy with spending money, but I switched out lamps and I traded out uh, nightstands in a couple rooms to make, just to make it feel more um, energetically connected. So the, the nightstands that I traded out went better with the bed in the other guest room that I had and the lamps, it was a better scale for that bedroom. So furniture is a huge part of clearing out the clutter. But then it's all the all, it's all the rest of the stuff that we keep, right? So how can you organize your life in a way that it feels fresh, it feels light? I now walk into our house. This took me three days, by the way. It was a massive overhaul. I literally worked from sunup to sundown. And anything I didn't want in the house, I went and took and I put it in the garage. And that was my staging area. So those three piles that I mentioned, all that stuff ended up in the garage and one ended up, one pile ended up Goodwill, one pile I was going to sell if it was a little bit nicer than uh, what I wanted Goodwill to have. And I was gonna sell it on, you know, Facebook or on um, Craigslist or, you know, to a consignment store that we have in town. And then the third pile was things that potentially were going back into the house or, um, as I said, I was completely getting rid of. So the garage was my staging area. I removed everything out of the house that no longer served or felt good. It was like, gave me permission to just, all those things that I was holding onto that I didn't really want, I just took them all out. And when you do that and you start to set the rooms the way that you want, it is the most miraculous change and shift that can happen. So closets, drawers, you don't need all of those chemical infested products in your bathroom and in your kitchen, get rid of them. Drugs, prescription drugs, I can't tell you how many of my friends are holding on to prescription drugs that are expired and that are 10 years old, get rid of them. Um, clothes that you haven't worn in the last two years, let them go. Pictures that you don't like, objects that have no meaning. Every room in your house when you should walk in it, I love to say that everything holds meaning. So if it doesn't hold meaning to you 
and it's just there because you bought it at some random time in your life, let it go. It will clean you up on such an emotional level. I promise you, you will, if you are holding on to some physical weight, I promise you will feel like you are 10 pounds lighter just by doing this exercise. And it also helps un unlock emotional freedom so that you can go into doing what you really wanna be doing with your days or doing with your life or launching a new business or whatever it is. So this week, really, really, really pay attention to how to declutter your physical space. Stage your home as if you're going to sell it. Get rid of all the things that no longer serve you in each and every single one of your rooms. I'm gonna send pictures to you below and you can start to see how my rooms developed into, I feel literally like I'm walking into sanctuary space every time I go into each individual room in my house at this moment. So it's a beautiful gift to you. It's a little bit of work. It's a lot of hard work, actually, I'm not gonna lie. But when you get through the other side, you're gonna feel like, wow, why didn't I do this five years ago? So that's your homework on this week's Liz TV. Leave me comments below, send me pictures. I'd love any feedback that you have. Uh, let's share together and really help each other clear out the clutter so that we can go out and do what we really wanna be doing in our life and shine our light and make a huge impact in the world. I leave you with that. Have a beautiful week and we'll see you right back here next week on Liz TV.